how to read UV-Vis spectroscopy graph. If you're working in a lab and need to understand the data from your UV-Vis spectroscopy experiments, you're in the right place. Let's break down how to read and interpret these graphs step by step. First, let's start with what UV-Vis spectroscopy is. It's a method that measures how much ultraviolet and visible light is absorbed by a sample. This absorption is plotted against the wavelength of the light, giving you a graph that can tell you a lot about the sample. When you look at a UV-Vis spectrum, you'll see a graph with wavelength on the x-axis and absorbance on the y-axis. The peaks on this graph indicate where the sample absorbs light strongly. Here's how you interpret these peaks. Identify the overall spectrum pattern. Each compound has a unique spectrum pattern. Look for the number and position of the peaks. For example, a peak at 217 nanometers might indicate an unsaturated aldehyde or ketone avita. Analyze the number and intensity of absorption bands. The number of bands tells you how many different types of chromophores, light absorbing groups, are present in the sample. The intensity of these bands, measured by the molar absorptivity EVE, helps you identify what these chromophores might be. For instance, a band with moderate intensity, EVE equals 1000 to 10,000, above 200 nanometers could indicate an aromatic system. Characterize the chromophores Different chromophores absorb light at specific wavelengths. For example, transitions like NC or NPi occur at different wavelengths and can help you identify groups like amines, alcohols, or carbonyl groups. A single band with low intensity in the 250 to 360 nanometer region might indicate a transition involving oxygen, nitrogen, or sulfur atoms. Look for shifts in the spectrum. Changes in the wavelength or intensity of the peaks can give you more information. Terms like bathochromic shift to longer wavelengths, hypsochromic shift to shorter wavelengths, hyperchromic increase in absorption intensity, and hypochromic decrease in absorption intensity describe these changes. Use the Beer-Lambert law. This law relates the absorbance of a sample to its concentration. If you plot absorbance against concentration, you should get a linear graph. This can help you determine the concentration of a particular molecule in your sample. Compare with known spectra. To determine the structure of your compound, compare your spectrum with known spectra of similar compounds. This can help you identify specific functional groups and confirm the identity of your sample. Consider additional data. Sometimes UV-Vis spectroscopy alone isn't enough. You might need to combine it with data from other instruments like FTIR or NMR to get a complete picture of the compound's structure. By following these steps, you can effectively read and interpret a UV-Vis spectroscopy graph, gaining valuable insights into the chemical structure and properties of your sample.